Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tax Garage. Today is an exciting day. I'm in the middle of redoing, refreshing, and recreating my four car garage. But today, we're gonna assemble some cabinets. So let's jump right into it. So guys, the reason I chose these cabinets is because there's not many videos out there on YouTube about these cabinets. I want to test them out for you to see if I can recommend them. If you're looking to purchase the Ultimate Garage cabinets, be sure to check out the links down below where you can get the best deal possible on these cabinets. Also, by clicking those links, you help support the channel, so thank you. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. If you're a longtime subscriber, always good to have you back. Right behind me is about a 30-foot section of my garage where I am installing some new garage cabinets. And today, I'm going to show you what all is involved in assembling the four-drawer medium base box. Before we get into the unboxing, I just want to let you know that I am doing a massive tool giveaway this year. So make sure you check out the link down below for your chance to win some tools. So let's get unboxing. I'm gonna open the box, show you how well it's packed, and then we're gonna lay out all the parts here and get assembling. Alrighty, everything is nicely packed in there to protect everything. I've opened the front drawers too because we need those to assemble the drawers. So let's get unboxing and lay it all out. Well, here are all the pieces, by far the most amount of pieces or anything you gotta build here. Now how I tackle these is this way. I'm gonna take all the cams and all the metal dowels and I'm gonna insert them into all the little holes that are needed. That's for the dowel, that's for the cam. That way, when I get to that piece, they all have the right hardware attached. So I'm gonna do that to all of these. I'm actually gonna put all the drawers up first. I'll probably assemble the drawers first and then I'll assemble the frame, but I'll check in with you once I put the cams and the dowels in. So here's a little pro tip. All of these are installed. If you wanna use a power drill, make sure you set the drill on a low torque. Another thing you wanna do is you wanna back out all of these cams just a little bit. This will make your installation a lot easier. Keep in mind, these lines need to be pointing to the exit hole here. So just go around, take some time backing these out. You'll thank me later. All right, I'm actually going to start with assembling the structure right now. That way I can put it in here and have more counter space for making the drawers. Now, B is the bottom. There is no front or back to the B. Uh, so make sure you just put that on correctly. You want to insert these wooden dowels. A is the top. You're also going to want to insert wooden dowels here. But there is a front and a back. This groove here is for the front, the opening side. That is where the key lock actually locks into the top shelf. So be sure you put that on correctly. Let's assemble that, put it in there, and get doing on the drawers. Before we put the top and the bottom on, we gotta put the back supports. E is the base, D is the top, and how do you know how that's the top? Well, it has this little groove here, and that's where you actually hang this cupboard from the wall. One thing you want to make sure is all the cams are facing towards the wall so you have this clean look this way. And now you can see this one is flush. That's because I backed these out. Now there's just a little something here so you got to wiggle it around, see what's up. Maybe this needs to be pushed in a little. So this needs to be twisted a bit. So I just twisted this a bit and now it should go right on. There you go. Let's tighten it down. Now that the back supports are on, we're gonna get part A and we're gonna put it on top. Part A is the top because of this, as mentioned before. Well, the structure is now done. I'm gonna place it there and start assembling the drawers. All right, when it comes to assembling the drawers, you have H, J, and I. I and H, just screw onto J with the two screws down here. Do not tighten these screws quite yet. You can see how it is wobbly. What you need is a base, which is K, and then with these not secured in, it's easy to make sure this base fully aligns. If you can see, it's not aligned there. Hard to do it with one hand. Let me put you down. Okay, you heard that click. Now it is fully in. 
now you want to tighten those screws now with the screws tight it is nice and secure let's grab a front facing drawer which is M and we'll just slot it in and I'm gonna need two hands so again you want to make sure this width goes into this ridge here and then once it's all done you want to tighten it up now this is fully assembled keep in mind there's a protective film on the front chair do not remove that until you have fully assembled it so I'm gonna finish doing all the drawers and then we're going to move on to mounting the cabinet to the wall before we put the drawers in so right here is part letter F you can see I have them all laid out obviously I have uh, them all for those as well these big shelves do not come with them you got to order them separately anyways so how these work is you want to find a stud on the wall put your leg screw through into a stud uh, they do include little screws let me just show you I prefer to use legs so that's the screw they include and then some uh, wall anchors and then a sleeve to go through the bracket but I'm gonna use my lag screws anyway so I'm gonna do this one show you guys how I do it uh, what you first need is obviously a stud finder I highly recommend this stud finder I'll leave it in the link down below so you can see there's two studs on this cabinet and then I use a laser level let me turn that on so the laser is projected on the wall there now if you run your I've already done this but you can see I can move my laser a little bit left and then it's going to be right in the middle of where the stud is so let's do that so there we go it is right in the middle so now you go down below and that's where the stud will be so I'm going to set you down and I'm going to put in this bracket so that one obviously hit the stud perfectly as planned now let's straighten this up to where we want it and mark out this stud all right guys as you can see there is the mount there all of these are done now I'm gonna show you another thing the manufacturer recommends if you're looking for more stability but I had to do this because there was only one stud so if you look on that one that one and that one there is no mount but what I did do is I put a lag through the top and the middle manufacturer recommends if you want more stability from those you put another one in part D which is the back so what I decided to do is find studs for those three uh, two studs for those three and then I could only find one stud for those three all right now that we are all wall mounted with the four drawer cabinet it is time to install the backing so that's what it looks like and here's the piece you just slide it on in using the supplied hardware you screw it in and it'll leave the back looking all neat and tidy well there you go guys it is not a necessary piece but it does do a great job of tidying up the back of the cabinet now we're going to install the drawers keep in mind there are three of the same drawers and one locking drawer so that one's for the top those are for the bottom let's get installed And there you have it now it's time to remove this protective film on the front of the drawers and then install the drawer handles well there you have it guys all the protective film has been removed now the final stages are the door handles and would you look at that look at all these door handles Woo! <laughs> that my friends is a sign of ultimate storage for all the projects that I'm working on and the projects to come and that way I can keep this garage looking all clean and tidy while filming the best YouTube videos I can for you guys so let's install these so we can finish up this build
Well guys, I installed all the handles and the cabinets are done. What do you think? To me, they look amazing. If you found those videos helpful and you would like to purchase the cabinets, there is a link down below that helps support the channel every time you purchase from there. If you have any questions about these cabinets, feel free to ask me. I buy these cabinets to try them out to give you guys first-hand experience. If you are looking for different cabinets, be sure you check out all my previous videos as well because I've reviewed a bunch of them. But guys, I am giving away a whole bunch of tools this year, so make sure you check out the link down below that will tell you how to enter to win. But until next time, thanks a lot for tuning in and I'll see you then.